Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at the solo for Shook Me All Night Long by ACDC. So, it's a very popular solo, I'm sure you know it. So, it's uh, one of these things you probably won't have to listen back to the recording a lot. If you just get the notes underneath the fingers, you'll be able to mimic it pretty quickly. Alright, so let's just jump right into it. We're here at the 5th uh, fret on the G string. We're going to do a whole step bend. Alright, then we're going to roll from the 3rd fret on the high E over to the 3rd fret on the B string. Then grab the 6th fret on the B. Then we're going to have a pre-bend. We're going to go back to that 5th fret on the G string, but we're going to have it already bent up a whole step. And we're going to release it. And he's going to play this little descending phrase, 3rd fret on the G. 5th fret on the D, 5th fret on the A. All together. Alright, the next phrase is going to sound like this. Alright, so that's just uh, more pentatonic stuff. 5-3 uh, on the D and the A string. Kind of hold that last note. Then we're going to do a quick 6-3 on the low E string, but it's really muted. So, then come up to that 3rd uh, fret again on the G string. A little bit of an artificial harmonic in it so that you got to get the skin on the side of your thumb to hit the string at the same time as the pick. And just kind of bend it slightly like a quarter step bend towards the floor. Then back to that 5 on the D, 5 on the A. We're going to play 5 on the D, and back to that note, that, that third fret again. So we have this. Alright, next phrase sounds like this. Alright, so we're going to slide into the seventh fret on the G. Play the sixth fret on the B twice. And do the same thing, just two frets higher. Alright, then you're gonna play that 9 8 again. And then you're gonna do a whole step bend on the 10th fret on the B. Now, as you're holding that, you're gonna play the 10th fret on the high E as well. Then pick the 10th fret that's already bent on the B string again and release it. And resolve it with the 8th fret there on the B. Then we're going to have a whole step bend at the 11th fret on the B, then a whole step bend at the 10th fret. So that's just a... Then the 8, then 9 on the G, back to the 8. Alright, next phrase, now we're going to move it up here. Alright, so that's just basically a uh, whole step bend at the 18th fret there on the B string. Hit that a couple times. Then we're going to do the same roll we did earlier, just an octave higher, 15th fret over on the high E string over to the B string. And then we play the 18th fret on that B string. Now we just did a whole set of pre-bend there at the 17th fret on the G string, followed by 15 and then 17 on the D. Then we're going to just play these uh, three strings, 17th fret across the uh, uh, B, G, and D strings. And the same thing, the 15th fret. Just hit them really quick. So, Alright, now we're going to do this little unison bend. I mean, not a unison bend, an uh, oblique bend. So that's just a whole set bend at the 17th fret. 
on the G string, and while you're doing that, you're gonna play the 18th fret on the B. All right, and then the same thing, pull off 17 to 15, over to 17 on the B string, uh, D string, sorry. And then the same chords we did before, instead of just doing them once, you're gonna do them twice. All right, so all together real quick on that part. All right, now we're gonna do this. All right, so a little bit of tricky bends here. We're gonna slide to the 15th fret with your first finger there on the B string. Whole step uh, with your, um, on the, at the 18th fret on the high E string. Then you're gonna have this, you want it to sound like this 18th when it's just brought down. But what he does, he goes, he's actually doing the sound of that 18, he doesn't release it to just the, the normal note. He's actually doing a half step bend behind it with his second finger, so. That's what gives it kind of this kind of warbly effect to it. So we have this. So you pick it and then release that note. Then 15. And then 17 again. Then back to 15, and then to 17 on the B, then 15 on the high E, and a whole step bend at the 18th fret there on the B string. Let me play through that really slow. Then he does this to end it. All right, so that's just another 15 on the high E, 18 on the B. Now you can just do a bend and release here at the 17th fret on the G string to the 15th fret. Then back to 17, you're gonna slide it up to the 19th fret. Then slide into the 21st fret on the G string. Then over to the 20th fret on the B string. You can do that twice. You, well, the first one slid too, and then you just stay there. Whole step, bend and release at this 22nd fret, followed by the uh, 20th fret on the B. So that's it. So uh, it's, it's a you know pretty uh, well-known solo. Um, you can hum the whole thing. So just get the notes underneath your fingers. Maybe just get the lower section down first and the upper section. And just concentrate on getting those bends in tune. And I'm sure it'll come along pretty quickly. All right, so I enjoyed it. I'll see you guys again with another famous solo for guitarlessons365.com. Bye-bye.